Hi, hi. Welcome to Journey Bees Fire Egg Sealer Guide. Um, before I actually start the video, um, feel free to ask questions on the build. Have a chat to me on the old TeamSpeak server. The, the links in the annotations. Alright, let's have a look at what spells. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say the first thing. My mate. James, he got a great name. Look at that clock blocker. Best name ever. Okay, so this exiler, as you can guess, is fire air. Um, I haven't really. They just. And Cabba just nerf water all across the board. Water just sucks. I've heard. Try can be somewhat good in PvP. I don't know, I haven't really tested it. I don't really know about the water spells. Um, the only spells I use are Time Control, very rarely, and uh, Exila Sunglass. Basically, what you can do with these spells is you can give an ally or yourself some uh, AP. So, on the, on the rare occasion, that you've got absolutely nothing to do or let's say let's say the monster has really low earth resistance you haven't even got the earth element so you might as well you might as well buff the exiler so I'll quickly show you so you time control and then what you do is you spam exiler sunglass so I've got it on shift 2 now try to do it really far away more than your MP and then that way you can spam it. Okay, that wasn't that effective. But what what actually happened then is I was getting a I was getting AP on top. So I got extra AP, therefore I could do the spell a few more times. Which is nice. Alright, what else we got? Okay, um, okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna, so these are the only, if I'm gonna give AP, um, I use Exila Sunglass because it's, um, 2 AP, so I can spam the hell out of it. And to be fair, if you crit and have Time Theft leveled G GG, you give them 1 AP. Now, what's interesting about this, if you, the maximum you can give including devotion is 5 AP and what will happen is let's say um, you gave uh, let's say the any on your team 5 AP keep going and you would AP another person on your team I don't know the exact ranges but it's usually whoever's kind of close if your teammates are across the map I, I don't know it might teleport and give them AP who knows uh, clock yeah, it just sucks. Sinistros. Sinistros. Okay, Sinistros. They're, they're just, again, if you're not water, no point using them. They can rob AP. And what's interesting about these is they take, to kill them, it's free charges. Now, why that's important is it's not HP. So, a monster could hit a billion damage. And they'd need to hit three times to kill it, even though they just hit a billion. So these can be used to block in opponents, block line of sight. Uh, oh, another thing, this is a PV build. I, I ain't pissing about with PvP. Um, underhand. Is this a teleport spell? Yeah, yeah, this is the old teleport spell. Uh, you can also... I'll show you how the teleport works because it's pretty funny. Let's throw that. I need to make a bigger screen. Okay, so to teleport someone, you just cast underhand. Now this is where the fun starts, is you use temporal distortion. Temporal distortion can you increase the range on it? Yeah, you can't increase the range on it, so be very careful 
about the five range. Okay, uh, what I didn't say is when you teleport someone with underhand, it can only be, uh, as you can see, uh, within the ranges of the dial. Now that is critical. So if you know, for example, you want to move a teammate or a boss at the start, make sure you have to think in advance where you're going to put your dial. And I think you guys already know when you put your dial up, it previews where it's going to go. Okay, what other spells we've got? Oh, the, sorry, the other fun thing about underhand is you can stack a push. I'll show you what I mean by this. So, if I, if I just give him... So this is now going to be pushed one. So I've stacked the push, and watch this. Whee! There you go. However, if I want to stack the push and I want to release it, so let's do one, two pushes. So two underhands. I'm going to use an aging to push him instantly. Whee! So you you can pick. So it depends if you if you don't care when you need to. Normally. Depends on a few things. I sometimes use underhand in close range because sometimes it's nice to um, uh, a close range monster might have ran at the Exila, and then I use underhand to push because, as you know, the teleport spell can only be used around the dial. Well, that's no good. I just want to push now. Oh, and the other thing, I think it depends where you're facing. So let's have a look. There you go. So as you can see, it pushes away from where the Exila is facing. So again, if you're going to start pushing stuff, <laughs> and it pushes in a linear line, yeah? Actually, just for lols, let's see, see what happens if I try to push diagonal. I think I'll destroy my dial, but... Yeah, see. Can only push in a straight line. That's pretty funny. Um... Okay, aging. Now, I will have to probably explain tick and tock a few times. Basically, tick and tock. I can never remember what which colours are which. To be fair. All right, tick is red. So, on the red turn, I use I've levelled aging. What aging does is all the initiative lost. It stacks damages. So. All you really got to remember is, okay, red turns are single target turns and blue turns are AoE. Now, if in my build you've leveled desynchronization, like I have, for one whack foo, bang, I can switch the turn when I want. You can do this mid turn, but some spells like aging. I've already got a, t uh, a turn limit. So, agents really used for the red turns to nuke the hell out of stuff. Um, in my build, you can use agent with hand, line of fire, and temporal burn. Um, agent deals air damage. So, let's say a monster had, mm, I don't know, say like he had 60% fire, but his lowest was air. Sometimes, you might be best just trying to nuke him and just hit through and just bash him up with the aging. The aging damage, can you see that second hit? The second hit is aging. So, okay, so I do about 800 and 360 of that was aging. That's that's pretty awesome. Temporal distortion. So we I showed you earlier I was using this to teleport, but this is basically air poison. So I've got it on control one, which isn't the best one to spam, but we Now, if you've got two Exilas, the last Exila to apply Temporal Distortions will be the one who deals the damage. 
So if you know for a fact your friend or your teammate has higher levels of temporal distortion, don't don't screw their one up and go, yeah, I'm gonna add to the damage. Okay, why this spell is awesome is if you skip. Boom. You see that I just hit a thousand. Now the reason why it didn't hit massive amounts is because it's like level 100. However, you can use this to stack damage before various boss mechanics. For example, uh, many bosses are immune. So what you could do is you could stack this poison whilst they're immune and then someone could do the mechanic to make them not immune and then on your turn they'll get hit with all this damage. So effectively, bang bang, free damage. Awesome. Oops. Um. Okay, what else we got? Uh, tempest. Few, I don't know. I I just call it jump. Now. Okay, I got stabilized. <laughs> okay, let let me let me jump around. Okay, so I I mostly use this. See, the cost is three AP, one MP. Now, let's say a boss came up to me. I have 171 dodge. That's pathetic. Now, most bosses will you will cripple me. So, if the cost of dodge rolling is more than 3 AP and 1 MP, I just use the dodge spell. Simple as that. Now I haven't a hundred percent mastered this because it, as you can see, it leaves a little teleport thing. But I can't remember if it stays. I can't remember how how you get it to stay. But as you can see, it makes a little teleport tile. Uh, I think you can use a te the enemies can use the teleport tile. It just depends. I, I ain't really figured that one out hundred percent, but uh, stuff it. Uh, I don't think in terms of damage it's that great. Oh, you can obviously also use it to teleport on and off your dial. Sometimes you might have to run up, like smash them with hand, and then and then try and jump back to your dial if you can. Okay, one of the best air spells ever. Punishment. Punishment is awesome. Okay, so punishment, if you use it on dial, you get extra base damage. If you use it, uh, if you hit off the dial, it breaks the hour tile, hour tile under you. So, you really want to use that in emergencies or if you know you're not going to need those hours if you've got plenty of hours left because obviously you've got like 12 okay now mm, I might as well explain about backstab okay now backstab works how the character's facing so I did 9, 913 1200 so you can see blatantly I did an extra like 300 damage. Let me quickly heal up. So, with that in mind, you may, if you want to get backstab, jump around. So it's no good going, yeah, look at that, I hit him in the arse. It's like, no, you did hit him in the arse, but it didn't do backstab. <laughs> Simple as that. God, let, let me show you some beast heals. OP! Alright, what other spells we've got? Um, yeah, so punishment. Basically, it's your main air spell. It's. It's just beast damage. Alright, let, let's go on to the old fire spells. Okay, so. Um, Hand, uh, hand does insane damage. So, um, don't know if I said it already. Aging can be used in conjunction with. To be honest, the first four fire spells 
don't think you can use it with that one. The thing with hand, you got to watch out for it. Uh, can you see this gap? That's the minimum range. So, when you use it in conjunction with dial, sometimes you can inadvertently... See, look, look, I'm too close. So, so we're like, yeah! And then now, look, I've got to jump off the dial to actually use the spell and then jump back on the dial. So you've got, got, to, be, got to be careful of the minimum range. Um, hand also has... An AoE. I think the range is uh, free. Let's have a look. Okay, so again, I'm, because of the minimum range, I'm going to jump off. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's got range of. Well, I suppose you could argue with people about three and two. Depends if you count the tile. So it's got like AoE range of two. Alright, let's quickly desync just so I can show you the AoE. Boom! Yeah, so that's that's pretty nice. Uh, so hand, to be fair, hand is the main damage dealing spell. Uh, just because I hate the bunny. Die! Okay, let let me quickly show you hand. Oh, one thing that's interesting about uh, aging, aging can be used diagonal, and then. Uh, hand has got pretty beast range. You can usually sit back and nuke stuff, but the the damage it does is just awesome. Okay, the other main or the massive thing is you can use it at close range. So, one thing sometimes you will actually get you will actually get pwned at close range and Xeal is just messy at close range you just want to be close and sometimes you'll do more damage then instead of jumping around the map with let's just call it air jump that you just you just go close range and nuke them I'll show, I'll show you what I'm talking about so let's let's actually go close I'm just gonna spam spam it See that that's pretty nice. Okay, uh, obviously on the clock turn. Now this is where things get a little bit more tricky. Now it makes it AoE, which can extend the range. And remember, it's non line of sight, which is amazing. However, if you try to use it at close range, sometimes pff, I find I can forget it's close range. Kind of po my teammates. So you really gotta watch out for that one. Temporal burn. Temporal burn. Basically, if a monster's got a little bit of HP left, and let's say you just did your combo and you had, uh, actually, I'll explain how it works. Um, basically, it'll use a maximum of three AP. Boom. However, if you had one AP, for example, you can use one AP. So obviously it's nice for sort of uh, mopping up a monster which has got low HP and if you're really really trying to kill something it's awesome. Okay, now on the top turn you can use it, it has an AoE. Now again this is actually quite nice because look you can use it at close range. So if you didn't have 4 AP a line of fire you could use temporal burn uh, and also it's quite quite a nice AoE to be honest so it's quite nice um, temporal dust see the main choices for fire are line of fire or temporal dust temporal dust is awesome because it works with um, works with aging and it has see on the single target turn it has okay AoE and then on the top turn boom God, let's, let's give myself the devotion 
That is some nice AoE. Wow. Okay, the damage because it ain't leveled sucks. Uh, Hydrant. I haven't used this in ages. You can use it anywhere. The thing is, I think its um, cost ratio was crap. Um, yeah, it's less than 10 per AP and it lasts free. To be fair, I suppose you could make a build using it. But, nah. Yeah, direct, da direct damage is, is the way to go rather than messing about. Okay, so if my build was absolutely... If I respect today, I would max out this spell at hand, line of fire, aging, and exilus punishment. The reason for these is these are my main combo spells. And then I get Temporal Distortion to level 100 and Temporal Burn to level 100. These, I think I respect to level 160 and I'm now 169. They're slowly creeping up. Okay, Support Spells. Okay, Xeela's Dial. Um, Dial's awesome. Uh, if you max it out, you'll get an extra 50 damage. But obviously, so as you can see, you get to preview where it is. So if you've you got no line of sight, then obviously you can't place it properly. Let, let me just get rid of this. Waha! Okay, so um, all the hours... All the non-highlighted hours will give me plus 50 damage and the highlighted hour, which I can't remember, it's something like the hour of the server is highlighted. This will give me plus 75. So if you're really lucky you want to start your damage combo from here to just squeeze that extra little bit of damage because who knows, you that might be all the difference. Okay, um, I'll go for them in order. Time Timekeeper's pretty cool. Basically, it will store an AP for next turn and add a charge to the dial. So again, sometimes monsters won't be in range, so you might as well stack, stack some AP. Now, personally, what I do is on a turn where the monsters are weak to air, I would have started with 12 AP, used Punishment twice, Devotion on myself twice, and then Timekeeper. Because there's no point doing a, a, a one air poison, that's just a waste. You might as well get the AP back. Mummification. Oh, sorry, one thing about Timekeeper is it's no line of sight and you have to be on the dial to use it. Can you see, look, just why let me cast this, you have to be on the dial. Oh, also, you can't, I'll show you, show you one thing you can't do. Okay, so I just stacked 3 AP, and then I've run off. You're not going to get the AP back. <laughs> so you can't purposely break the dial, get the AP back and run. You, you just can't do that. Okay, mummification. Mummification is awesome. However, um, it it works off your current HP. So, if I've got 100% HP, I'll revive someone else at 100% HP, and so on. However, they'll get hit for 33% of their uh, HP returned. So, they'll get hit for 33%. So they need to get healed otherwise they're basically dead in three turns and if that's assuming that they don't get hit so I usually revive and then get the person to take the shield speed bonus so there you go they'll stay alive for one extra turn and then I tried to throw in some heals devotion now this is one of the main skills that sets the exilor apart in just 
awesomeness. Okay, uh, devotion for one AP. I can give one AP, one MP. I can give one AP, and it's limited to four per turn and two per target. So I can give myself two. Then I can give give someone else. Don't think you can give allies it. Allies. So that's pretty awesome. Now the thing to watch with this is now you can do it two ways. Now I personally like to use devotion at the second it's the start of my turn, so I'm not messing around with animations, and then I can just spam spells. However, if you're not the strongest damage dealer on the team, and let's say you're playing with a Saram, for a two AP attack, two AP. Sarams can do awesome combos. Well, the thing with the Exila is all my combos are big. Like the two AP on Temporal Burn just would just be wasted. God, let, let me show you how much two AP can hit. Okay, watch this massive damage. Wow! See, the a Saram could with two AP could have done beast damage. Okay, so with Devotion, watch your MP. Now, Devotion actually has pretty awesome range. So, so sometimes you could literally jump over here, boom, 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 MP, or AP your teammates, run off. Uh, Desync. Now, Desync, you can use it two ways. One, to AoE nuke stuff, if you really need to do it. But the main one is to single target bosses. So personally, if if we're trying to kill a boss, I'd just be going mad. Like for example, let's say I want to nuke a boss now. I'll use desync, and it will switch from AOE to single target. So God, let's let's bash him up. Oh, get wrecked! Ah, oh, shit! He's running out of healing spells. <laughs> oh, that'll do. Desync's awesome. Okay, let's do temporal waves. This increases the TikTok. So basically, for us, okay, I'm not a hundred percent. I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure. Basically, it just means on the tick turns, if I use aging, um, more minus initiative will be applied and we'll do more damage with aging. Now minus initiative does not affect the turn order. It's just purely for damage, okay? So don't go, oh, look, I minus this initiative, like, uh, okay, so let's have a look, boom. Uh, I minus him 25 initiative. He's still gonna get the speed bonus every three turns. So the minus initiative it's purely for age and damage, okay? Um, okay, Master of Time. Now, I do PvE. I don't bother. We don't need control. We don't need to remove AP. 40 initiative. Now, if you like your old PvP, or you need initiative, you can go for it. Lots of my uh, endgame Exilia friends say this is the best one. Okay, we'll skip time theft and we'll go on to Temporal Prism. Now this spell uh, gives you 15 damage per turn per element used. So I'll quickly show you. So basically you get a free 100 damage. Whee! Okay, so I'll quickly show you. So I'm going to do one. Oh, you don't have to hit anything. Okay. So I just got 15 damage for water. Uh, let's quickly do fire. Wait, I'm up to 30. So 15 plus 15 is 30. And uh, let's do an air. Fucking air attacks are more complicated. There you go. So so just just using the spells in general. Ha most of the time, I'm so busy do dealing insane damage. I only use fire air. So if you use aging and hand, you're gonna get 30 damage every turn without without using any water. 
So obviously it caps at 100. So obviously if I'm using fire air every turn, in four turns I'll be capped out. So GG. Uh, what about rollback? Ah, now rollback is actually very interest interesting. I can't actually, but I can't read what it. Twenty percent chance of getting one AP back. Okay, basically it caps out at three. Okay, so the the general thing with rollback is the more AP you use the greater chance to get AP back is. Okay, so I'm going to buff my AP and I'm just going to uh, nuke the floor. Okay, so I just had 14 AP. Did I not get any rollback? Oh, no rollback, you suck. Weird. Anyway, roll rollback's usually awesome. But mostly all you need to do is just nuke stuff and get more AP. And the more the more AP you use, the greater chance to get back. So basically you just get free AP, so wait I got one back. Um quite often if if you get if you manage to get fifteen AP, so let's let's try to actually get rollback to work properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I... Yeah, that, that, was, that went well. Nothing beats a nice misclick. Okay, so if I stored some AP, and then I spammed a spell... Let's, let's quickly get rid of this. Actually, let's go mad, spam it some more. See, I got pretty, pretty uh, decent amount of AP. So, 12 plus 6, uh, plus 3, plus 6. 18, GG. Now 18. I right now now you've opened all the doors and all the combos, which is pretty awesome. So the other thing with the Exila, I didn't mention it. Actually, I finished quickly doing specialities. Okay, so the last one is time theft. Uh, I level this one last. This is the one to give yourself or allies, mostly allies, AP. And you don't have to cast this. Um, don't have to cast this on a target. And personally, I think it's actually better if you cast it on the floor. Yeah, look, what AP, what AP. Now the thing that's awesome about this is, if you are half crit, the chances of you um, you uh, giving AP is pretty high. Okay, one thing I've got to say is you can only give AP on the tick turns, the red turns, the single target turns. Okay, so uh, that's so the very first turn is always a tick turn. So sometimes you might finish a mob off or want to AP a certain character. So this adds 20% onto this spell. So there you go, so I'm at 64%, but if I crit, I'm at 75%. That's that's pretty awesome, I, I can live with that. Okay, what, what other exciting stuff have we got? Uh, gear, gear and equipment. All right, let, let's let's give up on this fight. Whoa, rage quit. Okay, now because exilers are a mix, a mix of spells, it makes gearing them up a little bit more difficult. 
so you could either go single target or AOE some items ha have um, have both single target and AOE ok let, let me quickly go through my equip so I've got the old wire crown again easy relic uh, epic Harry boots to be fair it's just because I dropped them ideally I'd, I'd get something probably better um, orgasmic chest plate this this is pretty decent uh, nice and easy to, well to be fair nice and easy to get laughing scythe uh, initiative pet just because I was doing black spore any shoe shoe air or fire both awesome definitely a plus range ammy wire ammy's beast honest cape uh, close combat lol single target damage beast what else we got shadow eaters again you probably want to get this foul of foul shadow ones I can't remember what they're called the bla um, flo black spore ring floor ring this this is pretty decent uh, this rings pretty awesome shock absorber shock absorber is probably the way to go I reckon okay let me quickly show you the future equips for the exila I forgot to say uh, genetically mo I think it's genetically modified no 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 grand visual set is awesome okay so where look I got the wire crown I'm already legit okay oh I didn't say I really wouldn't bother going trailer but water just doesn't bring it up to the table uh, this is what I'll get um, distance AOE 60 damage awesome it's craftable don't know how to get that I know th these are one of the hardcore dungeons um, ah now this is what I'd probably do is uh, I'd get uh, ultimately or ideally I'd get the bygone hand because it gives stupid amounts of damage absolutely stupid damage however that means I would be losing 1 AP so to counteract that I'd get the withered breastplate which is 1 AP so that way I'd always be 12 AP now some will say well you don't really 12 AP you could go 11 and you'll get roll black and devotion and you'll be 12 anyway so you can drop the AP but I just prefer 12 AP it's got it's what I've got on all my characters and it's just it just opens up the combos on the first turn which sometimes can be critical um, yeah this ring I think I don't know I was just looking at any old rings to be honest I think they were beast new ancient stagger beast memory ring uh, plus 40 damage if you can add up uh, forts yeah they're just they're just pretty amazing is it X belt time X belt see uh, so we've got the shock absorber at the minute so we're swapping uh, some AOE for some single target which is pretty amazing and then traditional shoes 70 and 30 so we're going to drop a little bit of resist but pff, ah, who cares okay so that'd be like the ideal way in game and obviously ruin ruin the shit out of that build characteristics okay let's start intelligence or resistance HP strength surprise surprise all equal now if you got that end game gear you might want to respec and then get them all perfect agility now I don't know you just really want exilas to go first or near near the start and quite often they'll be evil and steal the AP bonus as well to be honest your only real options here are initiative or 
dodge and I'd, I'd go initiative just because you can do a little bit of map manipulation and if you're going to manipulate the map you really want to go near the top chance again no brainer critical hits critical hit damage major now this is where the fun starts I went AP MP range however when we're level 175 we can get another major so I'll probably go final damage now if they're not going to add level 175 for ages you could get a plus range weapon and final damage to keep your free range and then you'd actually do more damage however I'm going to get the bygone hand ideally and that doesn't give a plus range it just gives insane damage and crit and I really want to keep plus three range because that's what I've been playing with for a long time and the other thing about range and exilers is you are somewhat limited to your dial even if you cast it in the middle of the map some of the sort of higher content the maps are getting uh, I don't know if the map seem bigger but I don't know you seem to have a greater distance to cover uh let's let's go kill some kill some stuff unfortunately I've been trying to think what to actually fight to sort of show off how awesome it is now I personally I've had this argument a few times I personally don't think the exiler is a good character to solo but a few people disagree on so I'm gonna dial I'm gonna devotion myself because I ain't got no friends uh, then I'm going to just use the aging combo okay so as you can see that was my 12 AP combo and yeah I wrecked him what's his resists uh, the reason I say it's not really a good solo character is if all the monsters surround the dial even with my close range abilities the whole point of the exile is you don't really want to be getting hit if you can if you can help it uh, okay I got three AP what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one of these Waha! oh sweet it killed him okay it's because I killed him I now get to do a free backstab okay so let's see how much it's going to cost me 2 AP and 1 MP so instead I'm going to teleport but obviously make sure you teleport away out of the lock region okay so he's actually got his reflect on so what I'm going to do is oh, I forgot to show you the awesome combo I'll show you that next fight okay so I'm going to stack poison on him because if I hit him now, I reflect. Can okay, the poison doesn't start until the exilers turn? Okay, watch this. Oh, get wrecked. Noob. Okay, just in case I didn't show you, I think I did. Basically, um, here's another combo. This is what my mate. Uh, Curry taught me. Okay, so let's say we want to spam air. Do not use devotion. Do yeah. So remember, don't use devotion. Ah, oh, actually, I didn't talk about that. Okay, spam air spell. Devotion twice. So we got our two AP back. And then if we use aging, wham, we can do it that turn. Now again. Depend some monsters have mechanics where um, they're invincible so you could get that cheeky hit in before they're invincible again uh, one thing we plan with exilers is um, spamming your spells and stacking them up okay so I just use devotion I'm gonna spam hand I'm gonna spam line of fire and I'm gonna spam temporal burn now, let, let me do that a few times so start off with devotion spam aging now the reason why I say spam the spells obviously look at your targets health before you spam is because it, unfortunately exilers have really long slow animations 
Got to let, let me go mad with the spamming. So you really, to make the most out of your time, you can stack all your spells up. So you don't need to say like, oh no, I run out of time on my turn, blah blah blah. Just freaking spam those spells. Same, same with the air poison. The air poison can be a bit of a pain to spam. Okay, do you see that? So I've I've already spammed my spell. Just waiting for the, the animations. They're so slow. Whoa! Get wrecked. Okay. Uh, I quickly do last one. I'll spam. Okay, so this is the spell to give AP. So to give AP, you just cast Timekeeper on an ally. Now try to do it further than your MP, and then look, you can spam it more effectively. Because what might happen is, you'll run out of AP. Let's say if I spam it here. Yeah, I'll run out of AP, and then I'll run across the map. It's like, no, 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 you don't want me doing that. Okay, let me quickly double check. I covered. I think that's pretty much everything for Exilas. Exilas a beast. Uh, Exilas, to be fair, are probably one of the ultimate classes on the game. Definitely in terms of damage, at least. And then it's I know it's just really a uh, really awesome class to play. Very interesting. Well, that's it for my. Uh, Exila guy, got got any questions? Go on, jump on TeamSpeak and ask me. Bye bye.